Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry's Los Angeles wife is a breath of fresh air from royal life. Prince Harry is now settled in Los Angeles along with his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and their young son, Archie Harrison. The former senior royal couple is lying low in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, so any major projects that they have in the works are likely on hold. Still, the two have found ways to get out and about, including a recent trip out to deliver meals in the Los Angeles area. Although a few reports have indicated that Prince Harry is struggling to cope with his new lifestyle, a recent story by Us Weekly claims something quite the opposite, and in fact, Prince Harry could be living his best life. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wanted to live life on their terms. For many years, Prince Harry was among the most popular members of the British royal family. The public and press watched him grow into a fun, loving man with a heart of gold. However, after Prince Harry married Meghan, an American actress with strong opinions of her own, there was a marked shift in the way that the country started viewing him. The red-headed royal and his wife began distancing themselves from the media, slowly but surely. They made sure that their son's christening was a private affair. They refused to share too many personal pictures, and most tellingly of all, they separated themselves from the palace. By moving into their own private residence, creating their own Instagram page, and speaking out against many of the tabloid stories, Prince Harry and Meghan clearly indicated that they were ready to do things their way. Still, not many could have anticipated that in January 2020, the couple would announce their retirement as senior members of the royal family. Prince Harry's New Life Immediately after posting their controversial announcement on Instagram, Prince Harry and Meghan began making big moves. The Duchess of Sussex retreated to a quiet estate in Canada, along with baby Archie, while Prince Harry began the process of tying up their affairs within the royal family. Many royal fans assumed that the couple might end up staying in Canada permanently. However, in early spring, Prince Harry and Meghan quietly packed up and moved to Los Angeles. While settling into their new, very private home base in Los Angeles, Prince Harry has still been in touch with his family. Reportedly, he chats with them on a regular basis via video chat, and even participated, along with his wife and son, in a video conference call with the entire family, in honor of Queen Elizabeth's recent birthday. Prince Harry's life in Los Angeles is a fresh new reality. According to a recent report from Us Weekly, Prince Harry's move to Los Angeles has been a breath of fresh air from his former duties and that he is finally excited for what the future might hold. Certainly, living in Los Angeles grants the couple easier access to the celebrity culture that they seem to gravitate towards. In addition, while the California paparazzi might be intense, they likely won't be as vicious towards Meghan as what many of the British tabloids have been. As retired senior royals, Prince Harry and Meghan are free to set their own rules and no longer have to live by the constraints imposed on other royals such as Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. If Meghan wants to step out wearing shorts or to rock a bold new hairstyle or lip color, she no longer has to worry about what the palace might think. For Prince Harry, in particular, life in California will surely be nothing but positive. Another analysis. Did leaving the royal family and moving to California ruin Prince Charles and Meghan Markle's close relationship? When Prince Harry married Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, he had the full support of his father, Prince Charles, who had come to know and got along well with his new daughter, in law. The former actress has even been credited with helping Charles and Harry form a better relationship. However, after multiple reports that the future king and the rest of the royal family were blindsided, 
when Meghan and Harry announced their decision to step down. Many are wondering what Charles' relationship with his son's bride is like now. Find out if their exit and move to Los Angeles has ruined it. Prince Charles knew about their plans prior to announcement. When the Sussexes posted their news to Instagram on January 8, reports swirled that Prince Charles was reportedly upset and taken aback by it. BBC correspondent Johnny DeMinn said that palace officials told him Charles was disappointed and felt blindsided as the couple did not tell him about their definitive plans prior to the announcement. That notion was recently denied by the Duchess of Sussex through her attorneys who filed court documents in her suit with a British tabloid. The docs said she consulted both the Queen and Prince Charles before resigning. Charles thought Meghan was a wonderful addition to his family. It's no secret that Charles and Meghan bonded and had a good relationship. This was evident when he stepped in to walk her down the aisle in the absence of her own father. The heir carriage was also instrumental in persuading his mother, the Queen, to allow Harry to marry a divorcee in a church. A source told the Daily Mail that Charles thought Meghan was a wonderful addition to his family and was not pleased with all the suggestions of racism. The source said, With his close links to the Afro-Caribbean community he has fostered over many years, he finds that idea offensive. He genuinely believed that Harry's marriage to a mixed, mace American divorcee not only signaled the diversity of modern Britain, but also quite possibly marked the beginning of a new era for the House of Windsor. The insider added, it was why he pushed so hard on letting them marry in church. He was saying, this is the modern way, and we must move with the times. Prince Charles is still paying for Meghan and Harry's expenses. Despite his feelings about Mexit, the Duke of Cornwall is not cutting his son and daughter in law off. While he can't be pleased that they moved so far away to California, he is helping them out, proving that their relationship is not completely fractured. The Sussexes stated that they would look to become financially independent, but that's not happening right away as Charles will be paying for their expenses, at least for the first year. The BBC noted that the couple will continue to receive money from Harry's father under the new agreement, although it is unclear whether this will come from the duchy, his personal wealth, or a combination of the two. That agreement will be reviewed after one year. There's no telling what Prince Charles' relationship will be like with his grandson, Archie, in the future especially if Meghan and Harry's son grows up more than 5,400 miles away from London. Another report moving to the real reason Meghan clashed with the Buckingham Palace staff. Before Meghan Markle married Prince Harry and became the Duchess of Sussex, she was an actress who was making a name for herself in show business. However, when she fell in love with a member of the royal family, she left her home in Hollywood, or rather in Toronto, where she lived while filming suits to try to embrace her husband's way of life. Everything changed in January 2020, when Harry and Meghan made the shocking decision to step back from their royal duties in order to spend time in a massive home in Canada before moving to Los Angeles. What? Why? Frankly, there were probably plenty of reasons. There's the fact that the British press was apparently biased in its coverage of the Duchess, which is surely one reason they cut off four major publications, not to mention the possible tension within the family itself. And now it seems as if there may have even been problems within the palace walls, due to the fact that Meghan may have clashed with the staff that serves the royals. Meghan Markle and palace staff faced a clash of cultures. Meghan Markle may be considered to be impossible to work with by some, apparently, there are people who simply don't want to work with the Duchess because of how she operates. However, when it comes to the issues that she faced with the staff at Buckingham Palace, according to the Telegraph's Camilla Tomini, 
It may have been a clash of cultures that stirred up animosity. In the April 2020 piece, Tomini explained the differences, saying Meghan had come from the celebrity world, which is very fast, paced and quite demanding, whereas the royal world is very different. It's much slower, paced, and hugely hierarchical. Because of these differences, those working for the royal family were apparently less enamored of the very qualities that made her irresistible to the press. Her showbiz luster, self, confidence, and feminist habits of assertion, according to Tomini. The royal expert further broke down the situation, noting that there's a hierarchy of staff who have been at Buckingham Palace for years and years to serve Queen and country. For Harry and Meghan to be making demands, there was a bit of below. Stairs chaffer, particularly with the Duchess, that was, well, hang on a minute, who do you think you are? Who Meghan is, is someone who seems to be perfectly content in her new life away from the royal rules, which apparently didn't suit her idea of a happily ever after. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.